Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. So Samsung just gave customization lovers a huge treat. So with the latest update to the Goodlocks theme park module, you're now able to transform your icons like never before. So today we're diving into four stunning new looks that will change the vibe of your Galaxy device. So from stylish to cinematic. So we're talking about film grain for nostalgic touch, a glass look for a crisp and premium aesthetic, duotone for clean contrast and minimal vibes, and gradient for smooth color transitions that pop. So let's explore how each of these look, perform, and help you pick the perfect style for your home screen. So here you need to go ahead and make sure your Good Lock app has been updated to the latest version. So go into your Galaxy Store, search for Good Lock, and make sure that's been updated. Once updated, go ahead and open it. Now in the Good Lock app, you need to make sure your theme park has been updated to the latest version. If you don't have the updated version, then unfortunately you won't be able to see this update. I have left the link in the description down below, so you can go ahead and download it from there and install it on your phone. So if you want to get the film grain effect on your icons, then let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Luck app. The Good Lock app is available on your Galaxy Store, so go ahead and download it. Once downloaded, you want to go ahead and open up the Theme Park module, and then you want to go ahead and tap on Create New. Now here, you want to go ahead and tap on Effects from the bottom, and from here, you want to go ahead and choose the Film Grain look. So as you can see, once you do that, you can go ahead and choose your grayscale effect, and then you can go ahead and choose how much noise you want. So as you can see, since this is a film grain effect, this will basically allow you to add noise to that icons. So I'll go ahead and choose everything maximum and we can go ahead and change the colors as well. Now, once you're happy with that, tap save, give it a name, and then we'll go ahead and choose the film grain and we'll apply it. Just give it a few seconds. Once applied, press home. And now the film grain effect has been applied to your icons on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So if you want to add a premium look like the iOS 26, where you have the glass style icon, then let me show you how to do this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. In the Galaxy Store, you need to go ahead and download this app called Good Lock. Now once downloaded, you can go ahead and open it. Now in the Good Lock app, you're going ahead and opening the Theme Park module. Now in the theme park module, you want to tap on icons and then you want to go ahead and tap on create new. And then you want to go ahead and now customize this. So now in this new theme park update, you can see the new update, which is called effects. If you tap on that, and then you can go ahead and tap on glass. And now here you can go ahead and customize this. So you can have the edge effect, you can have lights, and you can even change the angles around. Now, once that's done, go ahead and save this glass. Now, once that's saved, go ahead and tap on this and then we'll apply this glass effect. Now we press home. And as you can see, we have now applied the glass effect to your Samsung S25 Ultra. So you can customize your device without paying for themes. So if you want to get the duo tone effect, so two tone effect, and let me show you how to do this. So here first we'll go ahead and open up the store, Galaxy Store. From here we'll go ahead and download this app called Good Lock. Open it. Now from the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and tap. Now on the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and tap on the Theme Park module. Next, you want to tap on Icons and then tap on Create New. Now from here, you want to go ahead and find Effects. And then you want to go ahead and find Duo Tone. So now you can go ahead and choose two tones, so your shadow and the highlight. And like this, you can basically have icons with two colors. So once you're happy with it, tap save, give it a name, and then you wanna go ahead and apply this duo tone, and then go press home, and all of your icons have now changed to a duo tone. So if you wanna get the gradient effect for your icons, then let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. This app is available on the Galaxy Store, so go ahead and download it from there. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Theme Park module. Now in the Theme Park module, you wanna go ahead and tap on the Icons tab, and then you wanna go ahead and tap on Create New. 
Now from here, you're going to go ahead and tap on effects, and then you're going to find the gradient effect. Now you're going to go ahead and choose your start color and your end color. Now you can go ahead and choose the angle as well. So change the angle around. But once you're happy with it, tap download or save, give it a name, and then go ahead and apply this gradient effect. And now press home. And now the gradient effect has been applied to the icons on a Samsung S25 Ultra. And that wraps up our tour of the four new icon styles in Theme Park's latest update. So whether you're into vintage textures or futuristic shine, Samsung's got you covered. So there are some improvements to be made as I've noticed on the glass and the gradient effect. Some icons are missing and they don't appear properly like these ones here. So either they disappear or show half of the icons. Hopefully Samsung will fix this in the future updates of the Theme Park module. So if you found your new favorite style today, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell for more customization tips and Samsung updates. Let me know in the comment section down below which style are you rocking right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.